Your next comedian, ladies and gentlemen. How many of you are real fans of the show, huh? Well, I stalked the back part of this lineup with some of your favorite superstars. Let the chaos absolutely begin as I present to you one of the greatest regulars in the history of the show. This is a big stage and this guy knows how to use it. Ladies and gentlemen, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, I present the one and only Casey Rocket. Thank you. Hey, when I was a kid, if there was fentanyl in the pills, we just did less pills. We didn't throw the baby out with the bathwater. <laughs> we just did a little less pills. Oh, man. Hell yeah. My pronouns are bionicle. Nobody gets me. So tragic. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Sorry if I seem a little off tonight. Somebody slipped me some ketamine and I woke up in Baghdad, so. All of what? Akbar. So cool to think about around the holidays. <laughs> it's actually funny you bring that up. I, uh... What does ketamine feel like? Good question. Ketamine... Ketamine kind of feels like, have you ever woken up in the middle of the night because your dog is barking at the closet? Uh, so it's like that, but you're the dog. Uh, and you're also hiding in the closet. So, sort of a duality of man situation. Interesting to think about. Thank you, I'm Casey Rocket. So fun, thank you. Casey Rocket has arrived with what appears to be a new trademark office chair. We've never seen anything like this before. Tony, I was so terrified. When he was rolling across there, he almost hit Polly Shore's adult diaper. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are you asking me a question? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too tired to riff. <laughs> you must be exhausted. You have a very special uh, crab man bottle of Robitussin wrapped around your neck. We've never really seen anything like it before. <laughs> this old thing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is the Tusk chain. Where do you get one of those? Nick Saban made it for me. Wow. The Shout out. Hall of Fame college football head coach Nick Saban. Now on college game day. ESPN college game day. He made it. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. I've been, um, well, I was inducted into the Mind Freaks. Um, Chris Angel's Mind Freaks. Yeah. So I've been training with them for six months. Levitating. Yeah, what's that initiation like? Freaky. Uh, it's a lot of him like handing me a box of raisins and, and it'll be all melted and he'll go, I did that. And I'll go, I'll go, all right. <laughs> cool magic trick, yeah. Chris. Hell yeah. Cool. He'll go, you feel that? And I'll go, feel what? And he'll go, you got a blood clot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, it pays the bills, it's good cash. It pays the bills. <laughs> Can you do a little levitating for us, perhaps? Maybe if everybody gets on their, claps their fucking hands. Oh. It's like some Peter Pan Tinkerbell shit. Using the energy from the audience. You gotta keep clapping, I think, people. Whoa, his eyes are doing something crazy. Wow. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh. Oh my God, the tusk is shaking. That's awesome. Wow, wow. absolutely incredible. We'll put it in in post. We'll put it through an editing. 
put it through an AI uh, thing for the viewers at home. It's going to look amazing. Give me a, I'll be like Tony Collette in Hereditary. He'll be floating at the six people. Who cares? Yeah. It's okay. Felt good. Casey, what does a guy like you do in Las Vegas, Nevada? Woo! <laughs> Play it fast and loose. Yeah. I'm going to... Jolly was talking about paying for P word. Uh, paying for. <laughs> I th I'd like to pay uh, to make love. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> That's sweet. Even if it's double or triple, I don't care. Um, <laughs> what's, what's your number? Like, how much will you pay? What's the ceiling? No ceiling. Old money. I'd pay anything. <laughs> I'd, <laughs> sky's the limit. There is no ceiling for a man that levitates like you. Something like that. Ooh. <laughs> You stay up late enough in Vegas, Casey, you'd be surprised what you can get a gal to do with her mouth for an Arby's beef and cheddar. <laughs> Why a friend words told me that. From Dr. Phil, no doubt about it. He's been around the block. Well, I've been around for a bit. So A hot. billionaire. You're a billionaire, Dr. Phil. Sure. Wow. I can afford Arby's. You're goddamn right. <laughs> yeah, I'd like her to dress up like my college girlfriend and apologize for my alcoholism would be cool. <laughs> She'd be like, I'm sorry... You pissed your pants or whatever, and I'd be like, water under the bridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ever fuck in a waterbed, Casey? If you think so. Yeah, if you think that. <laughs> I do. Have I've you, done that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dr. Phil, have you? Uh, hold that thought, Tony. We'll be right back. <laughs> no, yeah, of course. I lost my virginity in a waterbed, and I still uh, make love to my wife in a waterbed. It's just fun. It feels like you're in the ocean. Oh, God, yeah. I love thinking about the ocean, um, especially around the holidays. It's... <laughs> Which holiday? Jew Kwanzaa, like Tony said? The, uh, <laughs> the whichever one's closest. I would love... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking about it right now. Okay. I don't know if you can tell. Take your time. But I'm thinking about making love on the waterbed, and Shorty's really getting it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tuss dangling Ooh. over her head. She's hypnotized by the crab. No doubt about it. You like that thing? Yep. Cool. Are you wearing the Tussin necklace when you're fucking? Oh, yeah, it's hitting her. <laughs> yeah, she got to wear a goalie mask. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking rocking her nose. Yeah. Oh, there it is. You love the ocean, Trick or huh? treat. You love the ocean, little buddy? Trick or treat. Oh, yeah. You love it? Here, I'll, let me do something for you. Oh, the wind is blowing. There's a lot of wind. Oh my goodness. He's <laughs> levitating. <laughs> Does that turn you on? Me high. Yeah. He's oh yeah, horny, horny. What's the farthest <laughs> What's the farthest you've ever rolled in your chair? What's the longest distance ever? Couple clicks. Couple clicks. Yeah. Couple clicks? Clicks. Oh, no, clicks. I thought you said clits. Yeah, that's like, what I thought. I'm yeah. like, where'd you get the gynecology chair? <laughs> no, a couple clicks, like two clicks east. I've taken it a couple times. Okay. <laughs> What'd you find when you stopped? <laughs> uh, stuff I'm not comfortable talking about around the holidays. But Was it an all-nude office depot? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm home. Yeah. <laughs> so cool to think about. How much driftwood did you find on the beach today? Dozen. Okay. A dozen. A dozen quarts. A couple quarts, a couple clicks. Call it a day. You kind of look like the guy with the metal <laughs> detector walking around being like, I found a treasure. <laughs> yep, oh, there he is. He's levitating again. Full of blood clots. Look at that. Now it looks like you found Helen Keller. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. He's levitating. Or Keller Helen. Oh, wow. my God. <laughs> he looks like an opioid fucking waitress at Red Lobster. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> If you're lucky. Casey, you're an absolute superstar. We love you so much. Thank there you, guys. Thank Casey. you, Casey. Rocket. Luck be a lady tonight. <sighs> Snake eyes. 
<laughs> I'm just trying to get my back blown out in this motherfucker. Put me in a little basket, push me down the river like baby Moses. I'm trying to get baptized. I, uh, <laughs> all right, cool. Man, I love this city. City like this, night like tonight. It's good, get away from the fat cats on Capitol Hill, you know what I mean? They got their little grubby fingies and everything. Movies, TV, especially movies, you know. Moulin Rouge? No, Moulin Asian, you know what I mean? It's just crazy to think about. And I was watching all the Terminator movies last night, which was hard, because I hate machines. And I thought I'd do a palate cleanser, so I watched all the Transformers movies, and I was like, you gotta be fucking I can't get away. I OD'd on Whippets at Spencer's Gifts last night, and they tried to, revolve, they tried to revive me using smelling salts, but they accidentally gave me poppers, uh, so my butthole was massive, and... Crazy to think about around the holidays. All right, thank you. I'm Casey Rocket. Have a good night. Casey Rocket. Um, oh. Very, very lovely uh, Vegas-themed set. You have a set of dice and some brand new, undeniable Las Vegas shorts. It's kind of sexy to think yeah. about. Yeah. Very cute. Kind of just shaking that thing. Yeah. Uh, hats off to the Casey Bulge. Not bad. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> it's real flat front, though. I didn't think about that. I adjusted it so it would be that, so that's funny, but I adjusted it like that. <laughs> the rocket doesn't <laughs> fall far from the tree in this family. No, it's actually funny you bring that up, because I actually adjusted it to look like that, so it could have... <laughs> totally normal. <laughs> Wouldn't worry about that. You look good. How you been enjoying Las Vegas, Casey? Oh, it's fine. Whoa. <laughs> Are you only here for this? I'm here for Skankfest. Yeah, uh-huh. Having fun. It's fun. I lost a bunch of money on roulette, so it's been tough. But... Who's that? Black Hooker? <laughs> uh, no roulette table. But they gave me something kind of cool. Ooh, uh, ooh. Consolation. When you lose a couple hundred, they give you... Some kind of cool. So this is, uh, this is from Harrah's Casino. This is a picture of the Grinch with a gun. So it's kind of cool to think about. Uh, and it's signed by Gypsy Rose Blanchard. So wow! It's kind of, so kind of, you know, Casey Casey famously uh, gives out pictures sometimes during his sets. One of the many trademarks of the great Casey Rocket. Thank you. Happy to be here. Um, where do you get a pair of shorts like that? Yeah. Oh, these old things? Yeah. Um, <laughs> You're dressed like half the hookers I've met in this town. <laughs> That's they usually don't... what they change into at 6 a.m. after uh, they don't shower. Yeah. And they don't tuck as well. <laughs> you can see the thong through it, by the way. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, the underwear that you're wearing underneath are blatantly more comedic than the shorts that you put on over there. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there's, we're not going to make you do it because you're so uh, smart and such a great artist, but... You want me to pop them off? I mean, uh, this is Skank Vest. What do you guys think? Let's see what you're working with, buddy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. A master of, re of reveals. Oh, yeah, even the band is getting into this. Look at that. They know. How about a hand for Element OP, the band tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Joel Rutkowski, Nick Liberatori, and Dave Lacey. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's a ball. That's a ball. Actually, that's more realistic. This is what I, this is what I wanted to avoid. Uh, <laughs> Damn, that's a hog, bro. That's nice. That's so nice. I'm so embarrassed. I've never been so embarrassed. <laughs> It looks oh. like you have 13 erections yeah. right now. That's how my underwear looks in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Smuggling in two of Diddy's victims in there. Oh, this is my nightmare. What a nightmare. <laughs> Casey, you are such a goddamn superstar. Uh, always the funniest. Hair all the way. I mean, I, there's just no break between your thighs and your pubes, I can Whoa. tell. There, that is just, it is hair all okay. the way around. For those of you that might be interested in what the body hair of one of your favorite comedians looks like, it is 360 degrees all around the thigh with no, uh, there's oh no lightning of it at all. Literally looks like, I mean, a full, full grown werewolf. Very hairy, Tony. Thanks for asking. Um, 
a lot of hair down there, and it's growing. Uh, Kind of good. Um, yeah, that, was a, that came from within. I got goosebumps down there. Oh, it's all standing up. I can tell. Yeah. You know, it'd be great if you left all the hair and only shaved your asshole. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it. I do it. I can't do it now. I would. I'd love something like that. It feels good to have you guys looking at me. <laughs> not typically something I do. So this is. Good for business. It's a special skank fest secret wild episode. Casey, thank you for getting it started. Thank you you thank are you a guys. legend. We love you. There he goes, the great Casey. Ladies and gentlemen.